Trees, forests, we love them. They do a lot of things for us, provide us with a lot of materials. Some, a little bit more important than others, I would say. And if you want to learn some more about some trees, where they grow, how they live, what they look like, stay tuned. Forests are among the most important ecosystems on our planet. And over half of Michigan is made up of forests. That's right, Georgia. And landscapes are more than just trees in our backyards or the neighborhood woodlot. Forests are made up of a lot of things, but mostly they're made of... Trees! trees. Let me show you. Okay. If you take a look at the big picture and zoom into the Great Lakes region, you'll see that all of Michigan's upper peninsula and most of the northern lower is covered with trees, almost 20 million acres of forested land. But they're not all the same forest. You see, Michigan has different types of forests depending on where you live. In fact, there's at least a half dozen different types of forest ecosystems in Michigan. What does that mean to you? It means that you and your forested land are more important than you think. So what makes a tree a tree? Well, it's got leaves and it's got roots, but it's also got a trunk. Trunk? You call that a trunk? This is a trunk. This is an important part of the tree. It connects the leaves, which are up there in the crown, to the roots, which are down there under the ground. Now a trunk gives a tree an advantage that other plants don't have, is it can get its leaves way high to where the lights are. But the problem is, how do the leaves get water, which are way down there, in the root system? And we call that wood. Most of the trunk of a tree is dead. You might not know that, but it's true, only the layers on the outside are living as they move water from the roots up to the leaves and then the tree food that the leaves produce come down to feed the roots. So trunks are an important part of the tree. It's what makes a tree a tree and some trees are cooler than other trees. The trunk and roots of a tree are amazing. There are hidden buds just waiting to pop out. You see, normally the buds at the top of the branches are in charge. They're continuously sending out messages to tell those hidden buds not to grow. But what if something happens to those dominant buds? Something eats them, a storm knocks down a few branches. Nothing is stopping those hidden buds from growing. And that's how some trees regenerate. When a tree falls in the woods, you may not hear it, but it's a great way to see the root system. And what you see here is just part, a small part of the root system from this tree. Most of those roots extended far beyond where the base of the tree comes down, almost as far as the height of the tree. So what about this tree? How far do the roots go? The roots support the tree and collect water and nutrients, often with the help of friendly fungi. Because most of the water and nutrients available for the tree are near the surface of the soil, most of the roots are within 12 inches of the surface. So walk softly. Trees also have crowns at the top. Even saplings have them. Of course, we know that's where the leaves are and where the magic happens through photosynthesis. And photosynthesis is a really important process where green plants take a little bit of carbon dioxide and a little bit of water in the presence of sunlight and produces tree food, something that we call sugar. Yes, sugar is produced by photosynthesis 
and as a byproduct, a little bit of oxygen comes out the side, but that's not the important part. The important part is photosynthesis, because without photosynthesis, life on our planet just would not be the same. So whenever you get a chance to thank a green plant, say thank you. Mwah. You really do love trees and forests, don't you? Well, Georgia, what's not to love? The forest landscapes of Michigan have a lot to offer us. And if we learn to take care of them, you know, they'll take care of us. <laughs>